Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a Power App based on a SharePoint list. Here I have a SharePoint list that I've built with some phone messages. And of course, the phone messages would be really good to be able to view on your phone. And a SharePoint site does look rather nice on your phone already. If you want to have a special app that people can go into and um, review phone messages, then Power Apps is the way to do that. You can find the way to create a new Power App here under the three periods. Power Apps, create an app. I'm going to call that Phone Messages. Create. As you see, that opens at createpowerapps.com. So you could go directly there, of course. I'm already logged in with my Office 365 account here. Now it's creating my app. And what's happening is that it's creating three views for my app, a browse view and a details view and um, an edit view. So of course you can go in and modify this and I'm gonna show you a few of these modifications. It's um, not super easy, but uh, with a bit of tinkering, you can get it done. First of all, you have a ratings scale here. And as you see, that's tied to the ID of the item, which doesn't really make much sense. So we're gonna start by deleting that by pressing the delete key on my keyboard. And you'll notice that this deletion was now done on both of these items. So this is the details for each and every one. This is what's called a gallery. And as you see, uh, each of my items in my SharePoint list will be displayed as one item here. Now I'm gonna add another text box here, or another label actually, that is showing me the person who was called. This is the phone number that was called, and this is the um, title, the person who called. In the next one, I'm gonna add who was called. So I'm gonna insert a text here, just a text box, and move that down here, and make it aligned. And then I'm gonna connect that to another one of the fields. And as you see, the called is not in here, but if I go in under advanced, click here, in the data, this item, and just delete the title there, and continue clicking, and as you see, you will get called there. That's a, a person object, so you need to select which property of that that you want to have. And you can get the department of that person if you want, uh, but the one I want is display name. So that's uh, Antonio. Excellent. Then to run this app, I simply click up here, preview the app. And as you see, I can go into each and every one of these. I can search. And that search is now against the title field by default. So if I search for 5.6 and press enter here, I only see the one with 5.6 in it. If I search for 8.9.9, you'll notice that I only get the one with 8.9.9 in the title field. If I go in in edit mode here, I'll see that, and here's the email address and the name of the person who was called, phone number, and I can go in and modify this and change it so that this actually was returned. So when I click here, that information gets saved back to my list, of course. If I go back here, this app is available, so I'm gonna ignore that message. And um, if I flip back to all items, you'll notice that this message that I just changed to return is indeed changed. So the data in my Power App is of course modified in the SharePoint list. That's where all the information is stored. Now the next important step is of course to go ahead and make sure that this app gets into my phone. Now it's showing in the browser and that's nice, but I want it to be available on my phone also. So I'm gonna save this app now as you see, that's now available in the cloud accounts of powerapps.com. But to display it on my phone, I need to open up my phone. Here I am in my Android phone. I'm going to go into the Play Store now. And there I'm going to find the app for Power Apps. So I'm going to search for Power. And there's the Power Apps. You recognize the symbol probably. I'm just going to open that. As you see, I've already installed it. So I just have to sign in now. I will sign in with my Office 365 account. When I sign in with my Office 365 account, I get a list of those apps that are available to me that I've created or that someone else in my organization have shared with me. Now you see that I'm logged in to my Power Apps. I can see phone messages here. And when I open that app, it opens up with a default icon. And there I can see my two items. 
So let's open up the Calicula one here and go in and edit that. And you see, I can mark that as returned also by swiping to the right and um, saving that. Now, if I flip back to my SharePoint site, if I do a refresh here, I will, of course, get the latest data in SharePoint. So again, the phone, the web, everything is working against the same data source, that is the SharePoint list. So this is rather powerful. Back in my phone again, I will close the app by sliding to the right. And when I select my app here, I can pin that to my home screen. The next time I want to check my phone messages, I can just go to the home screen and go directly to the phone messages app. So that, of course, concludes my demo of how to create a phone messages app in Power Apps and install it and work with it on your Android device. The principle is exactly the same for your iOS device, of course. Thank you for watching this demo.